Hi everyone, my name is Kenny. I'm with Structured Solutions. We're the makers of SSI tools for Microsoft Project. Today I wanted to share some very exciting updates that we have upcoming for our 14-point assessment tool. Now if you're unfamiliar with the 14-point assessment or you're wondering what that is, a while ago the U.S. Defense Contract Management Agency created a collection of audits that they see as key to understanding whether or not a schedule is following best practices, uh, is built well, essentially if the schedule is in good health or not. Over the years, this has kind of become the standard amongst the industry, the standard collection of audits to run. And to this day, it's still asked for very often by auditors, customers, program managers, you name it. Now, I just want to be clear, these aren't the only audits that can tell you whether or not a schedule is healthy, and there are definitely additional audits that you would want to run in a normal scenario. But the 14-point assessment can be a really good starting point to telling whether or not there are deficiencies that exist in your schedule that you may need to correct. Even if you're not under DCMA surveillance, it's still a good collection of audits to run. Now, you need a good tool to be able to run these audits, and that's where we come in. We've built our 14-point assessment tool to be able to analyze your schedule really quickly and provide you easy-to-read results that can be shared with your entire team, your customer, whoever your audience may be. Our 14-point assessment tool can also show you which tasks aren't meeting the criteria for these audits, so you can go and find them and make corrective actions real easily. Okay, let me go ahead and show you the tool now. To open the 14-point assessment tool, I'm going to come to the SSI Analysis Tools ribbon here in Microsoft Project, and I'm going to click the button that says 14-point assessment. When you click this, the SSI 14-point assessment tool is going to open up as a task pane on the right-hand side of Microsoft Project. Task pane just means that it's a form that is docked to my actual Microsoft Project. Now, for those of you who have been using SSI tools for a while, you'll notice that this is a lot different than what our 14-point assessment tool has been in the past. We've made a lot of updates and improvements to the UI here. I'm just going to take you through the tool real quickly. So up in this top section here, we have all of the different 14-point audits. So these are all the ones called out by DCMA that are part of the 14-point assessment. If you want to see more information about any one of these audits, all you need to do is hover over whichever one you'd like and click. This will expand the section and show you how SSI Tools is actually going to evaluate your tasks against this audit and the actual paragraph reference from DCMA that describes what this audit is. In the new version of this tool, we've added a lot more options and we've made them really easy for you to access straight from the form. I'm going to come down to this section here that says 14-point assessment options and expand it and talk about a couple of them. First, we have our critical path options. So there are two audits in the 14-point assessment, one called the critical path test and one called the critical path length index. In order for those to be run, the tool needs to be able to calculate a critical path that can be run against those audits. These critical path options will allow you to control uh, what is going to be calculated as the critical path in your schedule. Now, the options that we have are to use either Microsoft Project's critical field, which will just look at the items that are flagged as critical. We could also use SSI's driving path analysis to be able to run a critical path to whatever item in the schedule that we'd like and have that be the path that's used for the critical path tests and critical path length index. We have more exclusion options, so you can control which tasks are going to be evaluated in the 14-point assessment. So you can now do things like exclude level of effort tasks, planning packages, schedule visibility tasks, or any tasks that you mark and flag in a flag field of your choosing. In addition to these exclusions, you can also choose whether or not you want the 14-point assessment to be run on all tasks in your schedule, only tasks that are in your current filter, or only tasks that you currently have selected. Now I'm happy with how all of my options are set up, so I'm ready to go ahead and run the 14-point assessment for my schedule that I have open right now. To do this, I'm just going to click the button at the bottom here that says Run 14-Point Assessment. As soon as I click on that, the tool will start analyzing my schedule and will instantly provide me results as soon as the analysis is, is finished. Up in this top section here, I can now see 
the results of my audits, how many tasks may have been found by the audits, and whether or not I'm passing or failing. Green check mark, of course, means that I'm passing. A red X means that I'm failing. In addition to that, I can also see the count of tasks that were inspected. So the total amount of tasks that were inspected, the amount of completed tasks that were inspected, incomplete, and baseline tasks that were inspected. We've also given you the ability to easily filter your schedule for the tasks that may have been found by any one of these audits. Take this audit, for example, late to baseline finish. I can see that I have 15 tasks that were found by the audit. If I want to go and inspect what those 15 tasks are, all I need to do is click this blue number 15. Instantly, my schedule is going to be filtered for all of the tasks that were found by the audit. If you need to export the results of the 14-point assessment that you ran to an Excel spreadsheet so you can share that with the rest of your team members and your customers, your auditors, whoever your audience may be, we still have that feature here to export all the results to Excel. I'm going to go ahead and click this button and show you what the result looks like. We've made a great amount of improvements to how the report looks when it's exported to Excel, so it's ready to present right off the bat and you don't need to do any additional formatting to it. I'm really excited for you all to start using this new and improved version of the SSI 14 point assessment tool. I think you're really going to love it. We've put a lot of time into it and I hope you look forward to using it yourself. For more information about this and all of our other tools, or to sign up for a free demonstration, please visit our website, ssitools.com. I look forward to connecting with you soon.